Hey everyone, it's Mike here, and today we're going to go through my 2012 Nissan Maxima and change all the interior bulbs to LEDs. Alright, and we'll also go through and change the headlights also. I'll show you how that's done. Now, stock, they usually already come with HIDs, but just in case, um, the reason I'm changing mine out is because one of mine actually went out. So, you'll see how to change it out in case yours go out or you want to change bulbs for different color, brightness. Okay. So we'll go through that. So let's walk around and install our LEDs. So you can see the difference in color here. So these are bulbs that I already changed to the whitish blue LEDs. And that is a, would be like a stock yellow bulb. So you can see some definite difference and it's a much cleaner look. I love the change. The first thing I do when I get a new car is I change all the LED, all the bulbs on the inside to LEDs because it's just a nice cleaner light and we'll go through and show you how to change those now. So basically for these dome lights or map lights what you want to do is you're gonna have four prongs or, or tabs I guess they're called. So you have one, two, three, and four here. So best thing to do is just wed wedge it in between. What get a good spot in between here, and there you go. It just pops right out. And then you just pull. And there you are. So this is the I used a 5 SMD LED on this. And it shows in every direction this way. So very nice. And obviously the other one will be the same thing. You just you just pull it out pop it right in and to go back in here's the uh, visually the back side of this so you'll see the prongs see the four prongs so that's all you're looking at so then just we will push it back up there you go all right and now for the next bulb we're gonna go through and change the under the, uh, we're gonna change underneath the driver's driver's uh, steering wheel. So you'll see the bulb I changed down here. I changed to a blue. I changed to a four LED blue. You can see it right here. It's a tough camera shot. All right. So literally, all you're gonna do in this one is just pull it pull it right out. I mean, I'm touching the bulb right now, so you can just pull it, pull it right now, and pop it right out, and pop it right back in. So this one's real easy, self-explanatory. Nothing involved there. <laughs> For the side here, so now we're looking at the door panel, and this bulb here pops right out. So you can either. Just pop it up, pop it out, just get a little tiny screwdriver like this guy here. You know, pretty much what you use for like eye, eyeglasses. And just pry it away. And it should come down. There you go. So as you can see, this one's got a couple nibs. It's got three nibs, four nibs. Actually, it looks like mine has three. It looks like someone already busted this. So you can see this is already busted off. <laughs> so this is where you want to pry off. So you got one nib here, two, three four all right and this is the uh this is not an smd led just a little difference in how it looks so you can see let me try and take a better shot here so you can see this is what my bulb looks like just the difference it's not as i don't know what the technical terminology is but it's not smd led these are just leds so you can actually see the bulbs there you can actually see the individual bulbs so once this is out, so you just pop the old one out. You can use whatever you want to pull this guy out. They're not the easiest to get out, but you can work with it. <laughs> All right, and then go. Then just to get it back in, should just pop pretty easy. Especially if you're missing one nib like I am. <laughs> so keep in mind for this one. See how it over on this side? It's not showing. It's not bright. This side is bright because the bulbs that I bought 
only face this way. So technically, if you wanted one, make sure you, make sure you get kind of, it doesn't have to be more LEDs, but make sure you get one that, that uh, focuses in different directions. So this is bright enough, but if I had to do it over, to be honest, I would get something that is more like uh, light going in all different directions, not just pointing pointing out like this kind of is. This, this is kind of out and sideways, but it'd be nice to for, you know, for it to point back also, so. Next light we're gonna change out is, um, all these lights will come out the same way. So these, all these door ones, so I'm not gonna go through all these door ones again. Uh, pretty much the same methodology here. And for the rest of the, for the rest of them. So the next bulb we will talk about is going to be in the back of the car. So it's going to be these little bulbs up here. So the Maxima has a lot of little lights, I know. So you're just going to want to grab a little. There's a. You can see if you can, you can see the nibs. So if you see the nibs, right there, and right there, that's where you want to pry away from. So, so you just jab, jab it in there and boom. That's a nice easy one. So again, I used a 5SMD LED. You can tell the difference because you can't actually see the bulbs per se. It's just, I don't know what they how, how you'd call the SMD LEDs, but this is them. So lights in all different directions like that. And this is definitely bright enough. And you can play around with as far as how bright you want it. This is five, five LEDs. So this is decently bright. It's definitely a lot brighter than the stock. I like it, especially since it has a frost covering. So also a good idea when you're taking these off to clean these, you know, blow them off, whatever you need to do, clean them. So this, like I said, I showed you on the left side, it has two nibs. On the right side, it also has two nibs. So just get any of those nibs off. It comes off pretty easy. And then to get it in, should be pretty easy. Just wedge it in and push, and there we are. On and off. And the door's open so this will not work as far as the pushing the button. <laughs> so I wouldn't recommend going with something too dull or too bright. Brighter probably the better because if you're realistically if you're gonna use your interior lights it's because you want to see you know or when you open in the car door it's nice to be able to see when you walk it in and especially a nice white whitish blue which is what I have. Here's another view from the outside. You can definitely see how nice and bright these lights are on the inside. And it's white and it goes along great with my white Nissan Maxima. And these step lights are also very nice. My 2009 Nissan Maxima, same model, same everything, did not have it. Not sure why, maybe they were all burnt out or something. Or maybe it's a newer feature now that we got a 2012. So definitely nice to have. Accentuates all the nice white all the way around. All right, next bulb we're gonna talk about is gonna be the trunk. So here's the guy right here. There it is. So. As you can tell, I already changed mine out. It can't hurt to have a little extra brightness in the trunk. So you can see this nib on the right. So this is a pivot point on the left. The right side, all you do is you pry it out. So you pry this side out. So I'm going that way with it. And then this just falls down. And you can tell that I already changed it out to a, surprise, surprise, 5SMD LED. All right, and then just put it back together. Very simple. Now you know what's not simple is the license plate bulb. So there's your two bulbs there. Oops. So there is your two bulbs there. And this is not easy to do. One bulb, two bulb there. So what you're going to have to do here is you're going to have to take apart all of pretty much at least the top half of your uh, trunk liner. So definitely not a fun job, but 
it's pretty easy. It just takes some time and be careful. You don't want to bust some nibs. So here's how we're going to go through it. So for this, I recommend a thicker screwdriver. You want a bigger blade on the end. Reason being is because of the fact that these um, push pins, they call them, it's easier to get underneath them. So when you pop them out, boom, it just pops out that easy. And for these, all you're going to do is uh, uh, pop these off too the same way. There they are, that easy. So we're just going to go one by one. You can fast forward as needed. Or if you want to see where I'm, how many I'm doing and where I'm pulling them from, feel free to watch with me. Just so you can see I'm not cheating the head. <laughs> These are very, very easy to take off. Just make sure you're using a nice, thicker screwdriver blade so that you don't mess up any of these, uh, any of these nibs. Because you know, you try and get this to the dealership, you know, they're definitely going to charge you, you know, I don't know what, five bucks or something for it. Now this will not come off, so just undo this, the trunk release from the inside, just in case you ever get trapped in your own trunk. I don't know what you're doing there unless you're in the mafia or something, right? I mean, <laughs> hiding people back here or something. <laughs> so this will now come over the trunk. I guess it's a hatch release. All right. And this will slowly come down. You can pry it around this. This black plastic here will not come off, but you can slide this around it if you need to. can technically reach it without it. You know, if you wanted to try and get back in here right now, I'm touching, I'm actually touching the bulbs, but you know, if you wanted to, you could actually take this whole thing off and just for the heck of it, Hey, let's do it. So I'm going to wedge it out from under here. And one side is almost done. Just wedge it out one side at a time. Right or left, your call. And almost done. And there we are. I know it's kind of scary hearing those noises. You don't want to hear any snap noises, so. <laughs> oh, and let me take off this one more, see? Good thing you're watching, see? Helping me out. There we go. One more guy here to take off. All right, now it's come down a lot easier. So, this is what I'm looking at here. And your actual bulbs that you're going to change out are right here. Yes. These two guys right here, these two wires right here. All right. So literally all you're going to do is just take this, turn, and pop it out. So this again, guess what it is, everybody? 5 SMD LED. <laughs> so nice bright light. You know, get that nice rich white light for your license plate. Uh, definitely want to make sure these are not burnt out because the cops love to give you tickets for these. You know, you know your lights are out. Yeah, good thing for the Maxima, it has two, two bulbs. Well, you could say it's a bad thing because it's twice as much money, right? That's why we go LED so it lasts forever. All right, so pops right out. And in is another story, apparently. <laughs> Here's a quick close up of how to take these out. So, again, when you're looking under the trunk, this is one license plate bulb right here, and this is the other. You can see it right there going to the back of the bulb housing. All right. So, what we're going to do is just, we're going to twist this counterclockwise to take it out. And there it is. There's the LED I already changed out. All right, so when you're changing these out yourself, it's going to be very hot because you're going to have regular incandescent bulbs in here. So definitely be careful because they are very, very hot. And take them off with gloves or something or just wait until it cools down. You don't want your lights on while you're doing this for sure. All right, so. And then when you, when you get back in, you can see these, see these uh, grooves right here. These, uh, this groove here and there's a groove, on, a groove right here also. Make sure these go right back in so you can see the... The housing it's in right there, so it only fits one way. All right, and 
Let's see if I can do this easily or not. And stick it straight up. Wonderful camera editing, right? <laughs> and twist, and you are done. Do the same thing to the other side, and your license plate bulbs are now changed. And of course, you gotta put this back up. Okay, now I'm putting it back together. Very important, make sure you do not lose these or step on these, you know, these little push pins. All right, because they do break very easily. So first thing I want to do is put this back in. So let's slide this in and so wedge around this black plastic. This is the hardest part right here, this black plastic for the trunk release. And it is sweating. It is very hot in my garage, but it's even hotter outside, so it's the best place for it. All right, so let's see. Let's get one corner in first, and then we'll, red, we'll wedge the rest in. Good time for a screwdriver to wedge, help wedge it in. There we go. Bigger one, even better. <laughs> All right. All right, we are half in now. Today was too hot to do a lawn care video. You know, I love my lawn care videos, but it was, it's, it's about good 90 degrees today, so I figured, eh, I'll work in the garage. But stupid me, it's not much cooler. <laughs> not much better than the garage. Being a little extra careful so I don't, so I don't break any, any corners off this, because again, it's you know, just, just light plastic, so you never know about this, whether, how easy it's gonna break. And when you're putting this back together, there we go, all set. The easiest thing to do is you can move this a little bit while you're doing it. And literally, I just figured that out as I'm on the video with you guys. So definitely move this around, see how this moves around. So that's definitely the, your best friend as far as getting it in. So let's put this back into position here. All right, and we'll snap in there. Let's put our, uh, these, I forget what they're called, trunk. Trunk bumpers, I would call them. Okay, let's put this over the hatch. Put, put these bumpers on. Just, just push. Push and bang. And these push pins, you can literally just push them in. They're very easy. And I'll, I'll do a quick count to see how many I did. So that's one, two, three. That's the last one I forgot last time. Four. Five. And six. All right, so there's six screws, or six push pins that I took out, and the two bumpers for the trunk. All right, so that's all I did. You, could, you don't need to take off the rest. Just creates more work if you don't need to. Why do it, right? Now, in case you're wondering what the license plate bulbs look like after, here's what they look like. Tell me that's not a nice back end to a car. Nice white bluish light. Gives it that rich look. That extra rich Maxima look. <laughs> and that will do it for the license plate bulb. Next thing we're going to talk about is how to do how to change out your headlights. Okay, everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to properly and quickly change your headlight in Nissan Maxima.
Now the dealership wants you to actually take the whole bumper, bumper off and then try and access it from underneath or behind. But I actually did that. I spent the last two hours or so doing that. And you actually, I still couldn't access the harnesses from down below or from the front. So I ended up trying to take the whole thing off and it didn't work. So this is by far a much easier route. This is a simple five, 10 minute job. Very, very simple. So first of all, you want to go through the wheel well. So you take the wheel off and then let's see, you only need a, a screwdriver flathead and just pop off a few pins here from underneath. Let's just do one here. Just a few push pins. So you got one and you got two here. Everybody loves these push pins. There we go. Alright, that's two. And you should be able to get to it already. So basically just bend this back. You could take more off, but you don't really need to. Sometimes you want to take these off, but don't really need to. You could pretty much bend this. It's pretty, pretty flexible, but also kind of hard at the same time. So there's your piece back there. So uh, just so you can see. So that's what we're changing right there. Once you get behind here, it's that white, that white cover. So basically we're just going to turn that and it's going to come out and expose the headlight bulb. Alright, so I'm just going to turn that, turn that to the left and pop this off. And then you'll see a housing. So this in Nissan's, you can see it's a little box on there right right here this box so basically you just turn this you have to turn this to the left before you pull it out don't just keep yanking on it because it, you know it needs to be pull, needs to be turned properly to the left in order to come out so once you take that off you got two little uh, two little support support pins as always when you change the headlights you know just push it push them in and boom, it's that simple. And careful not to hit anything on your way in or out when you're changing these because you don't want any fingerprints on any of these. All right, and then you swap it out with your new bulb. And I am using these uh, Osram HID Xenons. So these are very close. I'll, I'll show pictures also. These are very close to the stock HIDs, or Xenons, I should say. Um, very close in light. I'll, I'll put all the descriptions where I got it, how much it was, because the dealership wants $215 just for this one piece for the OEM replacement, but this is much better light. It's whiter. It doesn't really have that bluish tint as the OEM ones do, but you know, it's a, it's a brighter light. So it's, it's, it's just a hair, hair brighter. So you don't, so you lose a little bit of that, of that, uh, bluish tint. So, all right, be very careful not to touch the bulb or any, any of the components here. You're just going to slide it in the same way. And, let's see, almost in. until you hear a snap. So I got these on Amazon for uh, 135 for two. These are supposed to be really, really good bulbs. So really good quality. And then once you get that in, it, you know, as soon as it sits pretty, you want it to sit real flush in there before you put that metal, that metal uh, surround back in. So there we go. And let's put that the metal pieces back in and, and that should do it all right if there's any questions so there's your finished product with the uh with the plastic off all right any questions let me know and then just rinse and repeat put it back together
few screws and that's all it is, a few five minute jobs. Here are the new headlights that match the original HIDs which I put in. These are the nighttime V. Here are the HIDs. This is the color. Here is the HID output from the inside view. Just so you can see the color.